Welcome! It's time to learn some more math with Lego blocks and today we're going to do geometry activity number one. So first things first put this on pause and explore with your blocks for about five minutes and turn it back on and we'll get started. Thanks a lot! Okay, I hope you had fun exploring with your blocks. Today, activity number one in geometry, we're going to talk about squares. And squares are very common. And here's an example of something that has a square shape. This four dot block. It's the same on every side. It's got two dots if you look at it that way. Two dots two dots, two dots, and four right angle corners. That means they're kind of like a piece of paper at the corners. So that is kind of what a square looks like. And now we're going to make a square that's just a little bit bigger than that. Can we make a square that has three dots on each side? So let's start with a four dot block. Oh, that's pretty good. Now if we want to make it three dots on one side, now we've got one, two, three. Now we want to make it three dots coming this way. So we already have one, so let's put a two dot block here. So now we have one, two, three on this side. One, two, three, one, two, three. What do we need to put in here? So we have one, two, three. That's right. If we put another two dot block in here, now we have a square that's three dots on each side. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And one, two, three. Great job. Can we make one now that has four dots on each side? So let's start again with a four dot block. That's one, two. How can we get to four? Well, we could put another four dot block down. That works pretty good, doesn't it? One, two, three, four. One, two, we have to fill this area up. Let's try another four dot block and see how that looks. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. We have to fill this in. And now we have a square with four dots on each side. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. Good job. Now we've learned a little bit about squares. Let's put this on pause, draw our, what we've done, draw our work, and then we'll also mark our progress charts and finish up. We'll say goodbye. So put it on pause and we'll be right back. All right, everybody. You've all drawn your pictures and written a little something about what you've done. So let's see what I've done. Okay. I drew the first square that we made and it's got three dots on each side. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three on each side. So this square has three dots on each side. Then we made a square that had four dots on each side. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. On each side. I downloaded this paper from the website, which is on the links below. And now we wrote a little something about what we did. It's always good to write about what you did. First I put my name on, and then I wrote down, I made a square three dots long on each side. Then I wrote another sentence. I made another square four dots on each side. We have to describe our square. 
And how do we describe it? By telling how long it is on each side, and maybe which color it is. I could have added that in my sentence. You can add that in yours. And then we mark our progress chart. Here's my progress chart. I filled out the first activity for geometry. Again, you can download this on the link below. And if you draw yours on regular paper, regular white paper, you can mark your progress chart just like I did. I wrote the word geometry here and made a little one dot block and colored it yellow. Good job. Well, thanks everybody for joining today. We had fun doing the first activity in geometry. Thanks so much for joining. Please subscribe and please like this video and I guess we're going to be saying, well, after we check things out, we're going to be saying something special. So let's see, make sure we don't have any blocks hanging around. Oh, that took care of everything. So we're in good shape now.